How do there guys, welcome back to Edgar TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at the players that are going to be defending big prize money during the coming year. If you are unfamiliar with how the prize money works in the PDC, it's very, very simple. Well, I say it's simple. It can be a bit of a minefield at times, but the sort of vibe around it is quite simple. Well, how it works, everything you won two years ago, you will then defend two years later. So if today the 16th of January, you won £1,000. On the 16th of January 2026, £1,000 will come off your rankings. Now, this is only the ranking money. You don't actually have to pay the £1,000 back. It's just something that comes off your rank. Now, if you were to get £500 today, then you'd lose £500 off your ranking because you gain £500 at this event. This is how certain people can go to the World Championship, have a good run, and then go down in the order of merit because a couple of years ago they did better. Now, there are some people that are defending big prize money who are going to have tour cards at risk and in danger, and people that are in danger of moving out of some positions. First person in danger of potential losing a tour card, I can't believe I'm saying this, Mervyn King. He's currently down towards that bottom end of the 64. The 57-year-old in 2023 only won £20,250. That is 24.8% of his prize money. £61,500 up for grabs that he will be defending, which is 75% of his money. If he doesn't defend, well, pretty much all of that, the 2004 and 2002 Lakeside runner-up, the 2004 Masters champion, and the man who has been to the quarter-finals and beyond of every single PDC TV major, he will be dropping off the tour. Now, at 57, you may think, well, then he could jump onto the seniors, and the way he's still playing would probably pick up some titles, get lots of TV exposure, so maybe an option there for Mervyn King. The option may also be a case for Mensah Sulevich, now 51 years old. He won £21,750 last year, which means he's defending 76.90%, £72,250 up for grabs of Mensal Solovich money, the man who was the 2017 Champions League winner, also the runner-up in the World Match Play 2018 when he took on Gary Anderson, probably one of the most iconic finals or one of the best standards of finals we have ever seen at the match play. So two players there that could jump onto the seniors tour if they wanted to at the end of dropping off the tour, if that's the road they go. They're going to need big monies though to defend that as will Vincent van der Voort. The thing with Vincent van der Voort, though, 48 years old, not his birthday until December, so will be 49 at the start of next year. Would have to wait another whole year before the seniors became an option, so it would be likely that he would try and regain that tour card. Won just £19,500 last year, which is about 20% of his prize money. Will be defending 77500 this year, just shy of 80%. The... 2007 UK Open runner-up in trouble. Now, this one's an interesting one because the next one's someone I think could defend the prize money should they wish to, but how often will we see this player? How often will we see Adrian Lewis, the two-time world champion, take to the hockey? He only got £7,500 last year, which means 92.60% of his prize money, £93,000, is up for grabs. Now, we know Adrian Lewis can come back out here, qualify for a couple of majors, have a deep run in those and defend this money, but will he play? I mean, he's retained his tour card, so there's signs that he intends to play at some point this year, but as things stand, still taking a break. Someone who just broke in briefly to the top 32, Alan Souter, sorry, I know you watch this channel, twice reached the fourth top round of the world championship but only picked up £24,000 last year I say only but in regards to the year before that makes it 20% of his prize money £94,500 up for grabs just shy of 80% so he's going to have to make the world championships he's going to have to make the players championship finals as well he may even need a win or two at either of those events so Alan Souter also in trouble here of dropping significantly down the rankings or towards that tour card cutoff. When we look inside the top 32, there are a couple of players here that really stand out for me as players that could potentially move. Take a look at these. 
Seventh position in the rankings, Danny Noppert defending £322,750. I expect to see him potentially drop down towards the 16 point or lower. Jose de Souza, someone who's not picking up many wins at the moment. He's defending 160000 but he's currently not in a position to qualify for events such as the World Match Play. So when that event comes round, it'll be money coming off with nothing going on unless he can get up on that Pro Tour order of merit. Dimitri Vandenberg getting close to the top 16 cut off defending around about £270,000 £50,000 of that coming at the world match play so for me if Dimitri Vandenberg doesn't have a good start to the year we're going to see him come out of that top 16 quite quickly he's got to get in there and defend that and certainly needs a couple of wins at the match play because that could be quite a critical blow so that's my predictions or list of people that may drop down this next year or people that need a big year to defend cars, to defend places in the top 32, to defend places in the top 16. Who do you think is going to make a move down the rankings this year? Go let me know down in the comments section. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there, and I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV.